Hi there, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to share with you my five favorite yoga poses that you can do throughout your entire pregnancy. So this is perfect if you only have you know, 10 minutes a day and you just wanna go, I just need five poses that I can remember, I can just do it on my own or you can watch the video if you'd like. Um, so if anything doesn't feel good for you, please back off, but these poses are very safe for when you're pregnant. So let's make a start straight away. If you're a bit late in your pregnancy, you might wanna have a block nearby. Um, let's uh, just go straight into it. So we're gonna open the legs out wide. So this is the first pose, which is um, Paschvokanasana, which is side angle. And rotate that right foot out to face the top of the mat and then turn that left foot in. So we're gonna have like heel, the right heel, in line with that middle of the left foot. I'm gonna bend into that right knee. If you're a little bit late in your pregnancy, you might wanna just not bend it as much. Open those arms out just to your warrior two position. And then you can bring that right elbow down onto the right thigh, extend the left arm over. And we're just gonna hold it here. You can turn the head to look up towards the ceiling. And just connect with your breath here. If you're early in your pregnancy, you might want to come down a little bit deeper. You could use your block or if you can still come all the way down to the mat uh, with your hand onto the inside of that right ankle, then just go for it. Keep opening up that left shoulder towards the ceiling. And then inhale to come back up to standing. If you're using your block, just bring your block with you. Rotate that right foot in, turn the left foot to face the top of the mat, open those arms out, inhale. Exhale, bending to that left leg, placing that block down. If you're using the block, let's just bring that left elbow down to the thigh to start off with, bring that right arm over, turning the head to look up, really reaching out through the right fingertips, pressing down through the outside of that right foot. Nice deep breaths. Try not to collapse into the shoulder here. Lift out away from the left thigh. Those of you that are coming down, just come down a bit deeper if that's where you're working. And then let's inhale, come back up to standing. We're gonna rotate the feet to the other side, but just bring the feet in just a little bit closer. So we're gonna take Trikonasana, that's number two. Rotate that right foot out to face the top of the mat, left heel in, extend the arms out, inhale, and then exhale, bringing that block all the way down. If you're in your third trimester, just keep that right knee slightly bent and can just open that left arm up towards the ceiling. If you can, you can bring your hand all the way down to the block. If you don't need the block, you can bring the hands down just to the inside of that left leg or that right leg, turning the head to look up towards the left fingers. And just holding it here. Try to lengthen up through lengthen up through both sides of the waist. Beautiful pose for opening up the sides of the body. Easy breath. And then coming back up to standing, inhale. Rotating around to the other side, turning that left foot forward, right heel in, bringing those arms out, inhaling, and then exhale, moving onto the left hand side. Use your block, or keep that left knee bent if you're in your third trimester and you need a little bit more height. Turning the head to look up towards the right fingers. If you're really collapsing this way, then just come up a little bit higher on your block, yeah? This last two breaths. And then let's inhale, come back up to standing, and then just wiggle those feet back in. Make your way down to a seated position. So just come down however you need to. Come down onto the knees, sit over to one side. Just pop the block to the side. So we're gonna work with Janusha Shasana, which is just basically a head to knee, but this is a variation, a side 
variation. Bring the right heel in towards the groin. Uh, keep that left foot parallel so the toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. Hands beside you. Take an inhale and then exhale, leaning out towards that left leg. Reach that right arm over. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. And here you really want to think about pressing down through that right hip and then reaching out through that right side body, reaching out through the right fingertips. If you need to be up a little bit high as well, just stay up where you need to, where it feels good for you. And then inhale to come back up and we'll just swap it around. So bring that left heel in. Open that right leg out to the side. If you need the leg to be a bit further forward as well, that's also fine. Hands beside you, take an inhale, and then exhale, leaning out over towards the right, reaching that left arm over, and then turning the head to look up, if that feels good. Remembering to press down through that left hip. Keeping the right leg active by pressing down through the back of the right thigh. And then inhale, coming back up. Just bring that right leg in. Come over the knees. Come onto all fours. So this is number four. So we're just coming into our cat-cow. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Taking an inhale to arch the spine, lift the eyes. And then exhale. Curling the tailbone under, tucking the chin in. And then inhale. And then exhale. We'll do three more. Inhale. And exhale. And two. Inhale. And exhale. And one more, inhale. And exhale. Come back into your neutral spine. So number five is just happy puppy. So we keep the hips over the knees. So different from child's pose, walk the hands away. Now if you've got a block here, this is a great place where you could pop your block down to rest your head. And just let the, uh, the spine just arch slightly. If you don't need your block, you just pop it away. You can bring the head all the way down. Keep rolling the upper arms away from you. So the armpits are rolling in towards one another. So you're not collapsing into the shoulder girdle. Keep pressing down through the shin bones. last few breaths and then walking the hands back up making your way just to a seated position so that's five but we'll just finish just by coming to a comfortable cross-legged position rest the hands lightly on the thighs close down your eyes Notice how there's just a little bit more opening throughout the body. The breath's moving a bit easier. Just let the hips soften. And then just opening your eyes. So there you go, there's my five favorite prenatal yoga poses that you can just do throughout your whole pregnancy. So they, they can be your go-to poses if you need them. Okay, thank you so much for joining me and namaste. I'll see you next time.